right guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be one of the final videos, I think I said that the last time, of the Sakura D3 Counter-Steer Sport. Now, I've been uh, working on this car for some time now, and of course, upgrading it. Uh, you just can't leave well enough alone here at the RC Network, but wanted to upgrade the last few parts and get some more of that nice pink anodized aluminum from 3 Racing. Now, of course, I picked this up from AsiaTees.com, and I... I What's so strange about some of the orders that I place from those guys is, you know, literally six to seven days prior to me ordering them, they're sitting in a warehouse in China and they arrive all the way at my doorstep in Southern California within about six to seven days. So that it's just crazy to me. So uh, pretty cool. And I picked up the last few parts here uh, from 3 Racing to kind of complete all of the bulkheads and the last remaining plastic parts that are on uh, this uh, uh, counter-steer uh, car from Sakura. So um, really quick, uh, I actually already installed a couple of them, and I wanted to show you guys really quick. I had some time late the other night to uh, get some installation done and just couldn't wait. Uh, so uh, one of the first things here, and these have to do with the, uh, the spur gear, um, so I went ahead and I picked up uh, not only the adapter, the spur gear adapter there, I also picked up uh, the spur gear cover. So those are those two parts right there. Um, that will basically, everything off the axle um, coming from the pulleys to the spur gear is now going to be aluminum. So no more plastic parts in there that can kind of bend and twist and whatnot. So picked up those two parts. Let me grab the car here really quick and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Uh, turned out very, very nice. It actually included all of the hardware you needed. So it now has the counter sunk screws into that cover. You see that kind of uh, uh, Chinese throwing star looking thing right there. And then if you, we tilt it up here, we'll be able to see that other pink on the other side. So pretty cool. Um, that will give me some good uh, strength on that spur gear right there. So um, that was some of the issues in the past where the spur gear was kind of twisting and you know distorting now with these two items uh no more of those issues so um let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other parts i picked up uh pretty much all of the bulkheads now will be aluminum so we're going to run through these things really quick i'm going to have links in the video description so you can check those out um right here this is going to be the front uh aluminum bulkhead so pretty much uh that big part that kind of goes uh, around the motor, motor sits right in here, and that's what adjusts the uh, belt tension. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, that whole piece will now be aluminum. Uh, next piece here, let's see here. I'm going to try and get the front as well. Uh, here's the front. That's the rear. Here's the front. So pretty much that's going to be that piece. Nice little uh, um, three racing um, little emblem right there that's laser etched into it. So that's going to be the bulkhead cover that goes on the top that mounts up to uh, the shock tower. So pretty cool little item there. Last few things are going to be for the rear. Uh, this is going to be the rear bulkhead right there uh, for the bottom side. That should uh, complete that section. This is going to be the top of the bulkhead for the rear. So that kind of completes that section. You can see all that included hardware in there, which is nice. And then lastly, uh, this is the top portion of the bulkhead that goes up to those pulleys. So now we're gonna be able to um, uh, not only uh, add uh, this in aluminum, but I believe this is also a, uh, a belt tensioner. So we'll have to see, I'm not sure on that one, but it kind of looks like what it is because it just slightly looks different from stock. So, uh, but also has a little uh, uh, post in there to uh, create the stability of that uh, top pulley. So. Uh, last thing I picked up, and this is something that was actually suggested by one of my viewers, um, my car needs lights. So I picked up this cool little set here from Boom Racing, very inexpensive set, LB0002. And this is just a super bright LED light kit. So headlights and taillights. So um, nothing too crazy. You know, this is just a few bucks and it's going to get me some lighting uh, onto the car um, now, of course, the, the Subaru WRX body that I picked up does not have light buckets. So the cool thing about this one, it does come with those light holders. Uh, so you're just able to uh, uh, body ream out like a five millimeter hole. Light holder goes in and then the light sticks out. So uh, that'll look good with my body that I have. 
but this can also work for um, a car that has light buckets. So pretty cool. I can't wait to get this stuff installed, guys. It's going to look cool. I'm going to have a, a final unveil of my Sakura D3 here in the next couple of weeks once I get all of this installed. And uh, stay tuned for that. Any questions about these parts, uh, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.